Hey guys, welcome back to another day of the 12 meows of Christmas. And today, of course, you could expect I would do a cat. <laughs> Crazy cat lady. Of course, there's going to be a cat somewhere involved, somehow. Um, so today is the cat, and I think the cat is off. Create a critter two. Not positive, it's one of those, either the original or the second. Um, this is a little different though. What I did was I took, I kind of played Frankenstein with parts here. Um, you just get the kitty. The kitty is the only cut um, for this cut. The scarf and the hat actually came from the penguin. I just sized, I kept the hat the same because they both have big heads. And then the scarf, I just kind of sized down a little bit. So, but I wanted to, you know, Christmassy the kitty up. So we have um, two, one I'm gonna do dimension on as I have in the past for all my other videos. And this one um, is for the Catman's daughter. So this one will be flat to save on shipping. And I went ahead and I did two different sentiments this time. Um, he had picked out the Merry Christmas that you've seen um, for most of the inside of the cards. But I went ahead and for this one, I did a little different. This is from the um, Stocking for Christmas stamp set from um, Stamps of Life. Oh my God, I'm blanking out bad today. Um, and I used the From Our Home to Yours Merry Christmas right here. So, cause it's Ryan and I, so we can do the hour. So it's really just me that does the cards, but you know, Ryan lives here too. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get these cards assembled. There's my flat one. I'm trying to keep track of what I got to keep flat and what I can, you know me, I like to mention. I love it actually. All right, so we can go ahead and hopefully this holds out. Hopefully, hopefully. I don't like using wet glue. I don't know if it dries. I guess I never go back, but it seems like there are little lines when I put it on. I don't know if I'm putting it on too thick or what I'm doing, but I just don't like it. And the sentiment for this one, um, here's the dimensional one that I'll keep, um, is Purry Christmas. And it comes from the Happy Meow Day um, stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. And I just, they came like this, they came separate and I just, um, Punched out the oval. This is the Stampin' Up. I don't know if they still have it or not. They've gotten a lot of new um, punches. Um, so I just punched it out the large oval and then the oval scallop. And I just put Christmas at the bottom and purry there and just managed to fit them both in, which I was excited because I really wanted to use that and just have something nice, quick, simple, because um, I'm spending time away from Catman, which I'd rather be doing. But I also wanted to do these. So. We were looking for something that gave us a little quicker bang for the buck. So we will go here and get these off. I just cleaned these off my desk and now I have more. <laughs> I can't get away from them. They're haunting me. Okay. Oh my goodness, I can't. There we go. There we go. And coming up soon, I'm hoping to do a tour of my scrap room. It got overhauled, literally. Uh, I think it took me like 20 hours, not gonna lie to you. But things are organized. I kind of know where things are because they're organized. So, um, but a lot of things I've been able to find pretty quickly, which I was surprised. Usually it doesn't work out that way for me. Okay, and then so I just went in. So this paper is from a die cuts with a view, the Christmas stack, I think from 2012, um, if I remember correctly. So I just wanted went back in and I punched out the red um, scallop out of that. And this one we're gonna keep flat. So save Catman some money for milling. Okay, and then again, keep flat. Glad I got the flat one out of the way because now if I put dimension, it's not a bad thing. Okay, so there's our card um, that will go to um, Catman. So I will just show you them quickly together. There's one, two, and three. 
So these are the three together. Um, I think I did pretty good of keeping them flat for me. The only puffy thing is the ribbon, which you can flatten pretty good. Um, so yeah, so there's the set. Um, and like I said, they all have the Merry Christmas, just the simple Merry Christmas. And I didn't do any embellishment on the inside because I wanted to leave, you know, so he can write to each of his daughters. Message for Christmas. So there are those. And let's finish up the kitty one that we can go dimension crazy on because you know I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so see already? I've got this popped up and ready to go. All right, and I think, I think we're gonna pop the kitty too. All right, that sounds really bad. I think we're going to add dimension to the kitty and we'll use the from our home to yours for ours because there's two of us, so we can do that. So, and I gotta make one of the, I think my days are filling up pretty quick um, because I've gotta make two for my son's roommates. I try to make them a card to take home with um, them to their families, you know, cause he's got some really, he got really lucky with roommates. I mean, he just has some really great fun roommates. His, actually one of them um, came home with him last year for Easter. Um, and you know what, I think we will, let's do the foam tape. Um, he came home because they only, they just had the weekend um, and he's from New Jersey and it was just easier. Actually, I don't think he could leave because of a sports team, but I don't remember 100%, so I'm not gonna go with it. <laughs> there was a reason he couldn't go, but I remember it's just, you know, for Easter, it's just the weekend, so. Some of them are fortunate enough and wealthy enough that they can just fly home for two days. Um, but some of them, not so much. So it was wonderful. He came and got to spend time with our family and it was fun to get to know him. And it was funny this year at homecoming, I have pictures I have to scrap, but of course you know. Um, <laughs> we were at Dunkin' Donuts and I said, this other lady was from um, my son's school as well. Her, well, her child, not her. Um, and I said something about knowing um, one of his roommates. And she got so excited. She's like, oh my God, you know him? So it was really like, uh, yeah. Didn't know it was that big of a thing, but uh, yeah. And uh, my son was telling him after and he's like, wow. <laughs> he just was shocked. He's like, I didn't know anybody liked me that much. So it was, it was funny. He's the quarterback. So always try to get in. We get at least one game because of homecoming, but we try to get in a couple. This year it just didn't work out that way. So, and next year I think my son is going to be in Scotland during homecoming. So if he is, I won't be going um, down, but maybe it'd be fun just to go see him play. It is just fun. I miss going to stuff like that. I used to love doing that in high school, so. It's just fun. Wow, guys, I didn't go crazy on the, the popping of stuff here. And this, I know you're shocked, I'm going to just lay flat. Just lay flat, because I already popped up the top. So I just wanted a little bit different of a look. And that did it. And I probably should have chosen, um, no, I won't fit down there. Chosen a different color considering it's right next to the red hat. But it was kind of a, oh my gosh, what am I going to punch the skull up out of? So <laughs> it was kind of a last minute reach. So there's that one and the inside. Like I said, I'm going to, especially like birthday cards and stuff, I usually just write a real quick. I have a little, a little fluff here. I didn't get this corner apparently. Um... I try to leave space and, but at Christmas especially, because some people, I've actually got to go through and write down the list of who gets homemade cards and such. Um, we had a couple deaths, so I'm clear. a couple people, unfortunately. Um, so I have to go through and do that. Um, and I don't know where I was going. Train of thought gone. So I will <laughs> leave it there. And um, don't forget to stop by my blog. This card will look exactly the same. I've got this here and this here to go on there. And I've got the kitty um, to go on there. I might try an action wobble with a kitty, but I don't know if the shape is gonna be conducive to that. So we shall see. 
but that one's the same. The other two, I don't know if they'll be the same or not, but you can always stop over at my blog at www.crazycatladycraft.blogspot.com. As always, happy crafting.